Hello, welcome back my beautiful, lovely, powerful creators. If you're new here, welcome. Sit back, relax, enjoy, subscribe, stay a little longer. I apologize for my voice. I don't know if I'm sick but or it's just like the allergies. It's been raining like crazy. I want to talk about a comment that I got on one of my videos. Um, this girl came to me and said, what could I be doing wrong? I, everyone gets their manifestations, but I'm not getting mine, no matter how much I keep going. I did a really nice, um, long, thought out response, but there's even more to it that I couldn't even really write everything out. Like, there's, there's a lot to it, so I decided I'm just gonna, like, go ahead and make a video about it. So, when you feel like nothing you're doing is working, you are in the state of nothing I do is working. You need to first change that state. You need to be in a state where everything works for you all the time. You need to be in your God state. The easiest way to do that is to like take a step back for a second and realize how this whole thing works to begin with. Like you are, God is within you, the universe is within you, whatever you believe. So you're in control and you have the power to make anything happen. It's not that certain people can manifest and certain people can't manifest. Everyone can. The only reason that someone can do it better than another person is because that's their belief. So you need to step back into your God state, realize who you are, and you can do that by even just adding affirmations like to the end of your affirmations. So for example, you could say, I'm rich, I make $1,000 a day because I'm God. Because I am God, I get everything in three days. You get to set your own rules. See, that's something that people don't really realize is that you set your own rules when you're manifesting. So if somebody's manifesting everything they want in three days, it's because they believe they can and you believe that you can't. You need to go into the state that it is normal for you to be able to manifest. It is normal for you to be able to get what you want within three days or however long you want it. It is normal for you to be able to manifest instantly. It's normal to have my desires. It's natural for me to get my desires. When you're in the state of it is normal, any thoughts that it is not normal cannot exist. It's normal and it's natural implies that it's always been this way for you. You can say that too. It's, it's always been easy for me to do this. It's always been easy for me to get the guy. It's always been easy for me to make a lot of money. It's always been easy for me to switch states. It is easy for you to step into your God state. It is easy for you to get whatever you want. Stop always thinking of it as manifesting and think of it as stepping into who you are and being who you are. You can't stop manifesting. You can't stop. So are you going to be the person who always gets what they want or the person who dwells in the negative and gets the negative? Either way, you're getting something. So you might as well switch your thoughts and be in the state that you always get what you want. You're going to get something no matter what. I know it's easy. It's comfortable for us. And this is so sad to say, but this is just how we're conditioned. It's comfortable for us to have a doubt and then sink down into the negative emotions surrounding it. It's normal for us. It's easier and it, it's almost comforting in a way for us to dwell in negative states and return to negative states. And just sometimes it's just easier to let our thoughts spiral downward than it is to keep trying to pick ourselves back up. But if you keep doing the work and you keep putting yourself in the state where you have abundance, you have it all, you are the man or woman who, or whatever who has it all, it might be hard to keep your thoughts in check and keep returning them to that state constantly, but the more you do it, the easier it's going to become. With repetition, you will eventually live in that state. You keep returning to that state where you can have it all, where you're a positive person, where you're in your God state, you get everything you want. It's normal and natural for you to get everything you want. It's normal and natural for you to be in a positive mood all the time. It's normal and it's natural for you to attract good things only and leave out the bad. Just literally define your own rules around manifestation. You're awake. You are now awake. And that is the biggest thing. That is the biggest step you could have taken. Now you know that you're in control. 
You don't have to sit there and let life happen to you. You don't have to sit there and just take whatever life throws at you. You don't have to unconsciously keep manifesting by dwelling in negative states. You don't have to do that anymore. So why are you doing it? Define your rules and affirm for those rules until they become normal, natural rules. Create affirmations like, everything comes easy for me, nothing is a struggle, I manifest everything within three days. My negative thoughts never manifest, I know exactly what I'm doing. Pick things like that and use those as affirmations just as the same way that you're affirming for the other areas in your life. Self-concept. Create your own beliefs and assumptions by doing the repetition around the fact that you can create your own beliefs and assumptions. And then once you've created that, it's done. And now everything's coming to you easily because that's your assumption that it comes easily. Just keep telling yourself, no matter what you see out there in the world, no matter what you see, your subconscious can't tell the difference with what you're saying in your brain. It doesn't have eyes. It can't sit there and argue with you. It can't. It can't. That's not its job. <laughs> it doesn't care. It doesn't care what's true in your 3D and what isn't. Its only job is to listen to what you tell it. Your conscious rules your subconscious. Even if you, okay, if you're even a Christian and you believe in the Bible and you believe in God, they teach you, I remember this when I was young, they teach you to pray as if you already have what you want. Mark eleven twenty four. Therefore I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it and it will be yours. Is this not the same concept as manifesting? Believe that you have already received what you want and it will come. Believe that you already have it and it's yours. It's the same shit. And this is just, I'm just bringing this up in case you've come from that kind of background and you're like starting this um, new thought journey. Neville Goddard is a good person that you can read. He relates a lot of stuff to the Bible. The Bible. He dissects that kind of like the allegories and what it was meant to mean versus what it kind of got, stuff got misconstrued into meaning. So he's relating the two. It's, it's a really good person to look into, Neville Goddard, if you haven't heard of him, which I highly doubt you haven't heard of him if you're, if you're here. Yeah, so it's the same thing. It's being Delulu. It's being delusional. It's looking at your 3D and something bad happens that negates what you've been affirming for and you say, no, I didn't see that. That didn't happen. Keep your eye on the prize. Keep focusing on what you want to see and it will be. That is the fastest way for it to come. When nothing seems to be working, stop accepting that it's not showing up. Be delusional and say that you, you see it everywhere. I see evidence of my manifestations daily. Affirm for that. And then the next day even, if, if you didn't see evidence, revise that. I saw evidence. I, I saw evidence, of course I saw evidence, I always do. Keep telling yourself it's the way that you want it to be and let yourself believe it. Be delusional. Flip your thoughts. Homeboy didn't text you back? Oh, he absolutely texted me back. We talk every day. You didn't get your check in the mail that you were supposed to get? Oh, I got my check. It's in my bank account now. You want clear skin, but you see some breakouts popping up? Oh my God, look at me. My skin is so perfectly clear all the time. Be delusional. Fuck it. <laughs> Don't repeat or dwell in the things that you don't want to see. Dwell in the things that you want to see. Dwell on the good things that you want, not on the anxieties that you're having about a situation. That's the difference. You can easily, like I said, it's two paths. You can go downhill into the bad. You can dwell in the negative things that you're creating in your brain that haven't happened yet. Or you can flip that and dwell on the things that you want to happen. As long as you keep thinking the new way, the old way has no choice but to disappear into thin air. It will be gone. All you're really doing is building a new neural pathway around the topic. You're getting rid of these old shitty beliefs that you used to believe. You used to believe that things don't work for you. 
whatever you're manifesting, you're broke and you want to be rich. You have this concept within, you're probably your whole life that's been telling you that you're broke. So you can spiral every time you don't see that money in your account. You can spiral. You can go downhill. You can spiral and go downhill every time your person doesn't text you back. Every time your person tells you straight up that they don't want to be with you, leave me alone, you can spiral. Or you can stop thinking that people reject you. You can stop thinking that you can never have any money. You can stop thinking that you're not the most beautiful person walking this planet. And think that you are. Think that you have those things already. It's easy for you to get those things. It's easy for you to change your thoughts around the subject. It's normal for you to be lucky in love. It's normal for you to be rich. It's normal for you to have perfect skin. Everything you want, it's already normal for you. You're creating new assumptions by replacing the old assumptions. It's going to take a minute because you were conditioned to believe that for however long. It can take a minute. It can take a few days. It can take a few weeks. It does not have to take a long. It should not be taking you a year. So don't worry about that. But don't get so caught up in the time frame of things. And don't get so caught up in nothing's working. Nothing's working for me. Why is it happening for everyone else? And then you give up. Because the moment that you gave up could have been a second away from you getting it. It takes a little bit. It takes some repetition. Stick with your affirmations. Stick with your new thoughts. Stop dwelling in the bad ones. Dwell in the good ones instead. It's more fun that way. Imagine scenes that imply that you have the things that you want. Daydream about good shit. Affirm for good stuff. I recently read that you have 60,000 thoughts per day. Conscious and subconscious thoughts. 95% of those thoughts are repetitive thoughts from yesterday. Let that settle in for a second. 95% of the thoughts you're thinking on a normal basis when you're, before you even knew what manifesting was, 95% of those are things that you've been thinking before. Repetitive, repetitive, repetitive. Out of 60,000, <laughs> you're living in the day before constantly. You're pretty much living in the day before. You've got to change your thoughts. 60,000 thoughts per day. Can you not do like the 10,000 affirmations? Can you do, can you do a counter on your phone and do a thousand of those consciously affirming what you actually want? And what percentage of those thoughts do you think are negative? I'm not going to tell you what the answer is because that, that might, it will surprise you and look it up if you're curious. The more you repeat, your brain will naturally start to take that path and then that 95% from the day before is suddenly positive. It's working in your favor. Manipulate it. Take control of it. Discipline yourself. How bad do you want it? How bad do you want it? Do you want it at all? I know you want it. So discipline yourself and get it. And it will get easier and easier and easier until it is normal. Be to Lulu until it comes true Lulu. <laughs> so when nothing is working, set your own rules. Be delusional. Remember you are God. Create new assumptions. Create your own rules around manifesting. And just fucking be. Create your new thoughts around the subject. Stop accepting that it's not working. Stop accepting that. And believe that everything is unfolding in the... Everything is unfolding for you. You don't have to wait. Train your brain to realize that you're in control of this. Train your brain to accept and understand you're on your journey. Get your shit. Make it work for you. Make your journey work for you. You're already amazing at this. Every good thing that you have ever gotten, you did that. You've already done it. Stop tripping. <laughs> Stop tripping. It's supposed to be fun, like relax, manifest some fun shit, like take the pressure off yourself a little bit. I promise, I promise you're going to get this. I intend that this all made sense to you. I intend that this is helpful for everybody watching. 
Um, if so, make sure to share this video, like this video, comment down below if you have any questions, subscribe, and I will see you guys in a future video. Okay, bye.